So I wanted to do a little video on a project that I've been doing on the bench. Uh, this is involving a Raspberry Pi and a Baofeng. This is an interesting little project of mine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is I basically use this as a fox hunt transmitter. Now, uh, the reason that I'm using a little Pi uh, for a couple of reasons. One is because um, a lot of people have used Arduinos before. But the problem with the Arduino is, is then you need, uh, it, which is fine for getting the radio to transmit and controlling the timings and everything. But then what you need is you need an audio player. And I didn't have an audio player. And I had a couple of spare Raspberry Pis. I think this one's a Raspberry Pi Model 3B. Um, so I just had this laying around and I thought, yep, I'll, uh, I'll give this a try. This video is sponsored by Next PCB. Next PCB offer a variety of services for those interested in electronics and prototyping, including manufacturing of high quality printed circuit boards and PCB assembly services. Once you create an account, you also receive a free $100 coupon to spend on future PCB related projects. Next PCB have a special limited time sale of up to 40% on four layer PCBs. Six to 20 layer boards are also available at reduced prices. Hurry quickly because this offer ends July the 10th, 2022. Simply head to the links provided in the description, hit order now and load in your Gerber file with other necessary details. Basically out of the GPIO, I think this is GPIO number 17. I've got a, uh, a drive resistor here, which goes into the base of this NPN transistor, which is a BC548. And then I've got the um, collector, which is going here to ground, and then the emitter, which goes off to the PTT. So basically what that does is it pulls the PTT uh, on the Baofeng pin to ground so that it makes it transmit. We've got some audio coming out of here, which is just the onboard 3.5 millimeter audio. Um, I've got a little pot which I can use here to adjust the level going in and out. Um, and then what happens is, is in the Pi I've got a script which runs. Uh, it's a bash script and then all that does is I load an mp3 file into the into the Pi and then what that does is it just plays in a loop over and over and over and over again um, and then drops the transmitter. I think it transmits for probably about 35 seconds and then it um, stops transmitting and yeah, I'm just using the Baofeng and then just plugging in with the standard lead Straight into into that now. I've got a couple of problems so far with this One of them is I want to be able to transmit on two meters with this now <laughs> I'm gonna clean all of this up. It's obviously it's all out in the open So when it transmits the Baofeng RF gets back in and starts making a hum and Messes with the audio obviously I've got no shielding whatsoever, but I'm going to improve on that. So uh, for UHF, it works fine at the moment. Um, I also want to put in, so I've got, obviously I've just got the, the pot there, but I want to put an isolation transformer, an audio isolation transformer. And what that will do is that will isolate the Raspberry Pi's uh, audio from the Baofeng, and then that should um, stop any sort of hums and ground loops as well uh, coming back through the audio path. So uh, obviously the Pi can run off five volts and the Baofeng has, uh, a, I, I've got a battery eliminator coming which then slides in the back and replaces this battery. So what I'm gonna do is, is the battery eliminator runs off 12 volts. So I'm gonna have uh, probably a little, maybe a little 12 volt battery, which um, will then uh, also have a five volt step down uh, voltage converter and then I might be able to maybe just strap this to the back somehow of it um, or, or maybe some other way um, You guys might even have a better idea. So let me know in the comments below What uh, if, if you've done something similar like this? So uh, let me show you it in operation So what I'll do is I'll plug in a LAN cable and we'll get it transmitting so you can see what it sounds like So this script actually comes from a broadcast script so we, what we did was we ran a news broadcast here on the local amateur repeater and this used to download the mp3 and then automatically play it and this is the play uh, script so basically what I did was I just copied the script and adjusted it for the basically the fox transmitter so you can see here that at the moment it's just sleeping for one second I can change that out this while and do I believe to uh, turn it into a loop so uh, basically it changes directories here so it sets up the GPIO, so GPIO number 17, it outputs that, turns that uh, on, shows the, uh, sorry, 
sets up the GPIO and sets the output to an to output rather than an input uh, because those GPIOs can be both out and in. Then you've got PTT up, so that now turns that GPIO on and pulls it to uh, ground via that transistor. It sleeps for a little bit, then it plays, uh, what I've got here is calibration file, which is actually the MP3 that I've created. Um, and there's the hardware specified, which I need to change. It's currently only works with a USB sound card plugged in as well. Sleeps for a couple more seconds once it's finished, then the PTT goes down, it clears those GPIOs, and then basically goes to sleep, and then loops back to the top again. So fairly simple script, but yeah, it seems to work. All right, so let's key it up. It's on 439.1, and I've just set the script going. It started transmitting. So uh, you can probably guess whose voice that was. <laughs> I've just got it in chipmunk mode. So yeah, just a Fox transmitter using just this little Baofeng UV5R. I did a review on this and we've also done a few other streams on this of all of the features and how this has changed ham radio. If you want to find out how it has, then click on this link right up here. 73 guys.